Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode. Last week we were exploring our new digs in Darwin. If you haven't seen that episode yet, hit the link above and go check it out. And also, if you want to see what our whole little vlogging journey has been like for the last six months, head back to the start of our How To Get Lost In WA series to see just where we've come from in the past six months. In today's episode, we are exploring the breathtakingly beautiful Litchfield National Park with my mum and dad who are visiting us in Darwin for the week. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different as we were spending some well-deserved and well overdue quality family time with my folks. Hey you guys, so we just wanted to pop in here and say hello. Um, it's been three months since we were in Darwin, so our videos are always at the moment about three months behind because between filming, traveling, working, all of that jazz, it takes us a while to get these videos out. Our mission next year, however, is to get them out with a two week lag, so hopefully things will improve from there. But we just wanted to drop in and say hello. Uh, in the last three months, we have left Darwin, we've been through Central Australia and flown to Japan, and now we are back in Melbourne. It is almost summer, but we are still rugged up. I've still got my little, <laughs> still got my little slippies on. We're hoping the weather improves. I was super, super grateful for all the support we've had over the last six months with our traveling and our vlogging and all of your likes and subscribes have been really helpful. No, it's been fantastic. So as you would know, we've always preached about it at the end of every video. It, it pleases us every time you hit that subscribe button. We always put more and more effort into putting this content out to you guys. Um, we want to be able to deliver a message to say there's a lot more to it than just working the nine to five. So we've really been enjoying our travels. So every time you hit like or subscribe on Facebook or YouTube, it actually pushes our content out to people who want to see it or need to see it or will be inspired by it. So every time you do that tiny piece of support, it actually makes a much bigger difference on our end than you could ever imagine. So if you enjoy what we are doing, even if we can improve a little bit, let us know in the comments below, but a like and a subscribe goes a enormous way. So we really appreciate all your support and all of the support to come. This episode is all about me and my mum and my dad and Kieran exploring beautiful Litchfield National Park. It is a little bit different because we took a little bit of time out to relax and just spend some quality family time with my parents. Um, so this is more of a happy little family movie. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can see how beautiful Litchfield National Park is. If you are in Darwin, Litchfield is, it's up there with Kakadu. Um, and it's up there with doing all the World War II experiences in Darwin. It's probably the three major things to do in Darwin. So Litchfield is stunning. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're very busily editing um, all of our Darwin content, all of our Central Australia content, and our Japan content. We just don't have time. We are so oh, far behind. We are like so busy at the moment, yeah. but we're so excited for the content we're bringing out in the next few months. And then next year, we have some incredible travel plans. So enjoy this episode. We'll get back to it. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the beautiful Litchfield National Park. So as per usual, we were up bright and early because none of us like to share these beautiful locations with tons of crowds. So we tend to get up around six or seven to head out to a location, depending on how popular it is. We got up about seven and hit the road with mum and dad. We quickly discovered that traveling with mum and dad is like traveling with two kids. They're never organized. They're always, you know, fluffing around, trying to work out what's going on. But eventually we got there. Because you're a bit like a, a Chuck Super White. I'm a Chuck Super White. <laughs> okay. You're a Chuck Super White. I'm a Chuck Super White, apparently. No, she's a bit like one of those huggy bears, you know those. I was wrapping myself around people. So Litchfield National Park is a leisurely one hour, 20 minute drive from Darwin. It's a relatively small national park, only covering 1500 square kilometers. It's about hundred kilometers southwest of Darwin. It's a very popular park, however tiny, and attracts 260,000 visitors every year, although I think it's probably more than that, to be honest. Today we're visiting Florence Falls, Bully Rock Hole, Wangi Falls, and a couple of other secret little spots. However, last time we were out here, we had a week to do this, and today we're doing a hot lap around Litchfield in about half a day.
I hate it when you go in first. Why? Because you show me the expression as a child. As much as we always threaten to put the cameras down and just enjoy ourselves, I couldn't and I ended up having the best day roaming around Litchfield National Park with Kieran and my parents. We ended my mum and dad's time in Darwin with a trip to the beautiful Mindle Beach Sunset Markets and it was Territory Day which means a buttload of fireworks and when I say a buttload of fireworks, I mean a buttload of fireworks.
that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching this super cute, sweet little video that I've made to remember the time my mum and dad came to visit me in Darwin. Little bit of a uh, family home movie. Next week, though, we have probably the sickest episode we've put together in Darwin, which is our episode visiting the Crocosaurus Cove, where Kieran throws me in a giant plastic container to swim with crocodiles. Apparently that's my happy birthday present. I'm not quite so sure about that. So stay tuned for that one guys. If you haven't already, please go and hit subscribe and help us keep doing what we love to do. And we will see you next Wednesday. Bye.